Hi, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Now, you know, there's a powerful truth in life that often goes unnoticed, yet it shapes our experiences, our successes, and indeed our very destinies. It's the concept of positive thinking, a simple yet profound idea that can transform lives in ways you can't even imagine. Let's explore this together. Imagine for a moment a farmer looking out over a barren field. To the untrained eye, this field might seem desolate, devoid of potential. But what does the farmer see? Opportunity, he sees a future harvest, a bounty that is yet to come. This farmer knows something fundamental. It's not just the soil and the seeds that create the harvest. It's his belief in the potential of what that field can become. This is the essence of positive thinking. Now think about your own life. Consider the fields of opportunity that lay before you. Are they barren in your eyes or do you see the potential for growth and abundance? The power of positive thinking lies in this choice. The choice to see potential instead of limitation. You see, the mind is a fertile ground where thoughts are planted like seeds. These thoughts can either be weeds, choking out all that is good and productive, or they can be seeds of hope, ambition, and positivity that blossom into a life of fulfillment and joy. The thoughts we nurture determine the harvest we reap in life. Let me share with you a story of a young man I once knew. He grew up in humble beginnings, faced challenges that would have made many succumb to negativity, but he chose a different path. He chose to believe in himself, in his potential. He fed his mind with thoughts of what could be, not what was. And do you know what happened? His life transformed. Opportunities he never thought possible began to open up. Why? Because he believed they were possible. This young man's journey is not unique. It's a path available to all of us. Positive thinking is not just a theory. It's a practical approach to life. It's about seeing the glasses half full, about finding the silver lining in every cloud. It's about facing each day with a heart full of optimism and a mind full of possibilities. Now, I know some of you might be skeptical. You might be thinking positive thinking sounds great, but life isn't always kind. What about the challenges, the hardships? And you're right. Life is a mix of sunshine and rain. But here's the key. Positive thinking isn't about ignoring life's problems. It's about facing them with the right attitude. Think of it like sailing a ship. We can't control the wind, but we can adjust our sails. In life, we can't control everything that happens to us, but we can control how we respond. And that response starts with a thought, a positive thought. So as we embark on this journey today, I invite you to open your minds and hearts to the power of positive thinking. Let's explore together how changing your thoughts can change your life. Remember, it's not just about what you're looking at, it's about what you see. Let's choose to see a world of possibility, a future of hope. Let's choose. Building the foundation of positive thinking is akin to constructing a sturdy house. Just like a house needs a solid base to withstand storms and time, our minds require a firm foundation of positive thoughts to navigate the complexities of life. This foundation isn't built overnight. It's a process, a journey that begins with a single step, the decision to focus on the positive aspects of life. Consider the story of a young artist full of dreams and aspirations. She faced criticism and rejection at every turn. Yet she chose to focus not on the doors that close, but on the possibilities that lay ahead. She understood a fundamental truth. Our, our reality is shaped not just by the events that happen to us, but by our reactions to them. She chose to react with optimism, with a belief in her own abilities, and with the conviction that every rejection was merely a redirection to a new opportunity. Her positive thinking didn't just change her outlook, it transformed her reality. This transformation begins in the mind. Our thoughts are 
powerful tools that can build us up or tear us down. When we focus on the positive, we open ourselves to a world of opportunity. We become like magnets, attracting similar positive energies and opportunities. The law of attraction is not just a fancy phrase. It's a principle that operates in our lives every day. Think about it. When you start your day with a positive thought, doesn't the day seem to go smoother? That's not coincidence. It's the power of positive thinking in action. But let's be clear. Positive thinking is not about ignoring life's problems. It's about approaching them with a mindset that seeks solutions, that sees obstacles as stepping stones to greater heights. It's about believing in ourselves, in our abilities to overcome, to adapt, and to thrive. And here's another critical aspect. Positive thinking is contagious. When you radiate positivity, it not only uplifts you, but also those around you. Like ripples in a pond, your positive thoughts and actions spread out, influencing and inspiring others. You become a beacon of hope, a source of strength, a catalyst for change. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, this all sounds good, but how do I start building this foundation? The answer lies in small, consistent actions. Begin each day with a positive affirmation. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. Focus on your strengths, not your weaknesses. Practice gratitude. Appreciate the big and small blessings in your life. And most importantly, believe in yourself and the power of your dreams. As we embark on this journey together, remember, building the foundation of positive thinking is not a destination. It's a continuous process. It's a choice you make every day in every situation. It's the key to unlocking a life of fulfillment, joy, and unparalleled success. So... Let's choose to build this foundation together. One positive thought. Let's delve into the remarkable impact of attitude on life. Imagine this, two people, similar circumstances, same challenges, yet their lives unfold in drastically different ways. Why? The answer lies in a simple yet profound element, their attitude. Attitude is like the lens through which we view the world. It shapes our perceptions, colors our experiences, and dictates our responses. It's the architect of our realities. You see, life is a series of events, a mix of joy and sorrow, triumph and defeat. What makes the difference in how these events shape us is not the events themselves, but our attitude towards them. Think about a seed. Left on a concrete path, it withers and dies. But plant that same seed in fertile soil, give it water and sunlight, and it grows into a magnificent tree. Our attitudes are like that soil. They can nourish and foster growth, or they can stifle and restrict it. A positive attitude nurtures our dreams, fuels our ambitions, and propels us towards our goals. On the other hand, a negative attitude can trap us in a cycle of despair and missed opportunities. Let me tell you a story. There was once a young woman who, despite her talents, always focused on the negatives. Her lack of resources, her difficult circumstances. She believed the world was against her, and unsurprisingly, she struggled to make any progress in her life. Across the street lived another young woman, equally talented, facing similar challenges. But her attitude was different. She saw every challenge as an opportunity, every setback as a lesson. She believed in her ability to shape her destiny. And guess what? She did. She built a life full of achievements and happiness, not because her circumstances were different, but because her attitude was. Attitude is the foundation upon which we build the structure of our lives. It influences our relationships, our careers, our health, and our happiness. A positive attitude opens doors, creates opportunities, and attracts success. It's like a magnet that draws in good fortune. But how do we cultivate this positive attitude? It starts with awareness. 
Be conscious of your thoughts, your words, and your beliefs. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. Practice gratitude. Focus on what you have, not on what you lack. And most importantly, believe in yourself and your ability to create the life you desire. Remember, a positive attitude doesn't mean ignoring life's problems. It means facing them with courage, optimism, and resilience. It's about choosing hope over despair, action over inaction, and positivity over negativity. As we journey through life, let's embrace the power of a positive attitude. Let's choose to see the good in people, to find joy in the simple things, and to face each day with a heart full of hope and a mind full of possibilities. With the right attitude, there's no limit to what we can achieve. The only limits are those we place on ourselves. So, as we continue on this journey, let's remember the profound impact of our attitudes. Let's choose to be architects of positivity, builders of hope, and creators of a bright and beautiful future. After all, life is not just what happens to us. It's how we respond to what happens. And that response begins with our attitude. Now let's turn our gaze towards transforming challenges into opportunities. It's a concept that seems simple in theory, but requires a steadfast heart and a resilient spirit in practice. In the dance of life, challenges are like intricate steps, complex and sometimes intimidating, but when mastered, they add to the elegance of our performance. Think of challenges as the raw materials for greatness. Just as a sculptor sees a masterpiece in a block of stone, we too can look at our challenges and envision the opportunities they conceal. It's not the challenge that defines us, but how we respond to it. Our response is the chisel that shapes our destiny. Consider the tale of a small town girl with big dreams, living in a place where opportunities seemed as scarce as rain in the desert. Yet she chose to see her circumstances not as barriers, but as a canvas on which to paint her colorful future. She knew that within every challenge lies a hidden opportunity waiting to be discovered. By embracing her challenges, she learned, she grew, and she transformed them into stepping stones towards her goals. Her life became a testament to the power of a positive perspective. This transformation from challenge to opportunity begins with a change in mindset. It's like switching on a light in a dark room. Suddenly what was once hidden becomes visible. We start to see solutions where we once saw problems, paths, where there were once obstacles. It's about asking ourselves, what can this challenge teach me? How can it contribute to my growth? The journey of transforming challenges into opportunities is not for the faint of heart. It's a path for the brave, for those who dare to dream, to strive, and to persist. It requires courage, the courage to step out of our comfort zone, to face the unknown, and to take risks. And yes, there will be failures along the way. But remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. Every failure, every setback, is a lesson in disguise, an opportunity to come back stronger and wiser. So, how do we start this transformation? First, by embracing a positive attitude, as we discussed earlier. Then, by developing resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks. We must also cultivate creativity to see the unseen and explore new possibilities. And above all, we must nurture an unwavering belief in ourselves and our capabilities. As we journey through the transformative power of seeing challenges as opportunities, let us now explore the richness of cultivating a mindset of abundance. This is not merely about wealth in the financial sense, but an abundance that permeates all aspects of life, relationships, experiences, joy, and personal growth. In cultivating a mindset of abundance, we embrace the belief 
that there is plenty out there for everyone. It's like looking at a vast ocean and understanding that there is enough water for every ship to sail, enough space for every bird to fly. This mindset shifts us from a scarcity mentality, which focuses on limitations and competition, to one that sees limitless possibilities and opportunities for cooperation and growth. Consider the story of a farmer who had two fields. One field he sowed with doubt, fear, and a sense of scarcity. This field, clouded by his negative beliefs, yielded little and was always plagued with problems. The other field he sowed with optimism, a belief in abundance and a vision of a bountiful harvest. This field thrived and produced more than he could have imagined. The difference wasn't in the soil or the seas. It was in the mindset with which he sowed them. Abundance is like a river that flows and grows, but only if we allow it to. It's about opening ourselves to new experiences, ideas, and opportunities. So it's about believing that for every loss, there's something to gain. For every setback, a new path opens up. For every ending, a new beginning awaits. How do we cultivate this mindset? It starts with gratitude. Appreciating what we have, not lamenting what we don't. Each morning, think of five things you're grateful for. This simple act shifts your focus from scarcity to abundance. Next, practice generosity. Share your knowledge, your time, your resources. In giving, we affirm our belief in abundance. And we often find that what we give comes back to us manifold. Furthermore, surround yourself with people who dotty this abundance mindset. Their perspectives and attitudes can be contagious and can help reinforce your own beliefs. Engage in conversations that uplift and inspire, not those that drain and discourage. Cultivating a mindset of abundance also means embracing change. Change is the catalyst for growth, the doorway to new opportunities. It challenges us to adapt, to innovate, and to think differently. Those who see abundance in change are the ones who thrive no matter the circumstances. From the concept of abundance, Let's delve into the power of visualization and affirmation. These are tools that can transform the way we see our world and ourselves within it, shaping our realities with the sheer force of our thoughts and words. Visualization is like painting a picture in your mind, a vivid and detailed portrayal of your goals and dreams. It's seeing yourself achieving these aspirations, feeling the emotions, and experiencing the success as if it's already happened. This isn't just fanciful daydreaming. It's a powerful exercise that primes your mind and body to recognize and pursue the opportunities that will make these visions a reality. Think about a runner preparing for a race. Before they even set foot on the track, they visualize the race in their mind. They see themselves running the perfect race, crossing the finish line, feeling the exhilaration of victory. This mental rehearsal is a crucial part of their training. It builds their confidence and focus, turning the abstract goal of winning into a tangible, achievable reality. Similarly, affirmation is about reinforcing these visualizations with positive, empowering statements. It's like planting seeds in the fertile soil of your mind. These seeds grow into beliefs, and these beliefs shape your actions and ultimately your destiny. When you affirm to yourself, I am capable, I am strong, I am successful, you're not just saying words. You're declaring to yourself and the universe your intentions and your beliefs about who you are and what you can achieve. Let me share a story of a young musician plagued with self-doubt. Every time she tried to write a song, her mind was swarmed with thoughts of inadequacy, but she began to practice visualization and affirmation. Every day she visualized herself writing beautiful melodies, touching people's hearts. She affirmed her talent and creativity. Over time, this practice transformed her reality. The song started flowing, her confidence soared, and she found the success she had always envisioned. Incorporating visualization and affirmation into your daily routine doesn't require hours. 
It starts with a few quiet moments each day. Visualize your goals with as much detail and emotion as you can muster. Follow this with affirmations that reinforce your vision and your ability to achieve it. Remember, the key is consistency and belief. Now let's weave into our tapestry the essential thread of building positive relationships. This is a vital aspect of our journey, for the quality of our relationships often determines the quality of our lives. Positive relationships are the bridges we build between ourselves and the world. They are not just connections. They are the pillars that support our dreams, aspirations, and desires. In the garden of life, relationships are the flowers that add color, fragrance, and beauty. They require care, attention, and nurturing to thrive. Consider the story of a businessman who achieved great success in his career. He had wealth, status, and all the trappings of success. But he realized something was missing, deep, meaningful relationships. He'd been so focused on climbing the ladder of success that he had neglected to build these vital connections. He began to invest time and effort into his relationships with family, friends, and colleagues. He listened more, shared more, and opened his heart. The transformation was profound. His life became richer, more fulfilling. He discovered that success without positive relationships is like a mansion furnished with cold, lifeless gold. Building positive relationships starts with empathy. The ability to understand and share the feelings of others. It's about stepping into someone else's shoes, seeing the world from their perspective. It's about listening, not just with the ears, but with the heart. It's about being there for others, not only in times of joy, but also in times of sorrow. It also involves appreciation, recognizing and valuing the uniqueness of each person in our lives. Express gratitude to those around you. Celebrate their successes. Support them in their struggles. Small gestures of appreciation can strengthen the bonds of relationship. Trust is another cornerstone of positive relationships. It's earned over time through consistency, reliability, and integrity. Be someone others can rely on, someone who keeps their words, someone who stands by their principles. Remember, positive relationships are a two-way street. They require giving as much as receiving. Be generous with your time, your attention, and your resources. The more you give in a relationship, the more you receive. In the journey of life, rich with abundance and possibilities, there's an inevitable shadow that often follows us, the shadow of negativity and self-doubt. These are not just mere emotions. They are barriers that can hinder our progress towards achieving our true potential. However, the beauty of this journey lies in our ability to overcome these shadows, turning them into stepping stones towards greater personal growth. Negativity often comes from the outside, the naysayers, the doom prophets, the ones who always see the glass as half empty. But more dangerously, it can come from within. The inner critic that questions our abilities, the voice that whispers, you can't do this. Overcoming negativity and self-doubt starts with recognizing these voices for what they are. Mere echoes of our fears, not realities. Let's take the example of a young entrepreneur who faced constant negativity. People told his ideas were impractical, his dreams too big. He began to doubt himself. But then he made a conscious decision. He decided to stop listening to the voices of doubt, both from others and from within. He surrounded himself with positivity, with people who believed in him and his vision. He started affirming his capabilities, focusing on his strengths rather than his perceived weaknesses. Slowly but surely, the shadow of doubt was replaced by the light of confidence. To overcome negativity, we must cultivate an environment that breeds positivity. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, who see the potential in you, even when you can't see it yourself. Read books that inspire you. Listen to stories of those who have overcome challenges. Fill your mind with thoughts that empower and invigorate. 
Self-doubt, on the other hand, is a trickier foe. It's rooted deep within us, often a product of past failures or societal conditioning. The key to overcoming self-doubt is to start believing in your own worth and capability. Begin each day by affirming your strengths. Celebrate your small victories. Set achievable goals and work towards them. With each step you take, you'll find your self-doubt receding, replaced by a newfound confidence. Remember, the battle against negativity and self-doubt is an ongoing one. It's not one in a day. But with persistence, patience, and a positive outlook, you can turn these adversaries into catalysts for growth. As you do so, you'll find that what once held you back now propels you forward. You'll discover that within you lies a reservoir of strength and resilience. As we navigate through the realms of overcoming negativity and building positive relationships, let's now embark on a journey that is equally critical. The continuous journey of growth and learning. This is a voyage that never truly ends, a path that constantly unfolds new landscapes of possibilities and challenges, shaping us into the individuals we are destined to become. The pursuit of growth and learning is akin to sailing on an endless sea. Just as a sailor uses the stars to navigate, we too must find our guiding lights, our passions, our curiosities, and our aspirations. These are the stars that guide us on this endless journey, helping us chart our course through the unpredictable waters of life. Consider the story of a young rider brimming with ideas yet lacking the finesse and skill to express them. She understood that to bring her stories to life, she needed to embark on a journey of learning. She read voraciously, wrote incessantly, and sought feedback relentlessly. With each word she penned, with every critique she received, she grew. Her journey was not just about becoming a better writer. It was about becoming a more profound thinker, a more empathetic human, a more resilient soul. This journey of growth and learning is not reserved for the select few. It's a path open to all. It's about embracing the philosophy that no matter our age, our background, or our profession, there's always something new to learn, always a new horizon to explore. It's about fostering a mindset of curiosity, where questions lead to more questions, where learning is not a destination, but a lifelong expedition. One of the keys to this journey is the willingness to step out of our comfort zones. Growth seldom happens in the realms of familiarity and ease. It occurs when we challenge ourselves, when we dare to try something new, even if it means risking failure. Remember, failure is not a setback. It's a teacher, a guide, a stepping stone on the path to mastery and wisdom. Another critical aspect of this journey is the cultivation of resilience. The path of learning is strewn with obstacles and setbacks. Resilience is what keeps us moving forward, turning challenges into lessons and failures, into opportunities for growth. It's about having the tenacity to keep going. When the going gets tough, knowing that every challenge overcome is a victory in the journey of self-improvement. Furthermore, this journey is about sharing our knowledge and wisdom with others. Teaching and mentoring are not just acts of giving. They are integral parts of our own learning process. As we share our insights and experiences, we reinforce our own understanding, gain new perspectives, and strengthen our connections with others. The journey of growth and learning is not a solitary one. It's a journey we share with those around us. As we journey through life, embracing the power of visualization and affirmation, building positive relationships, and constantly seeking growth and learning, we arrive at a pivotal point, the conclusion of our discourse, yet just the beginning of a lifelong practice. Embracing positive thinking for a fulfilling life is not merely a chapter in our story. It's the theme that runs through every page. Positive thinking is more than just a mental exercise. It's a way of life. It's choosing to see the sunrise even in the darkest nights, finding the melody in the midst of noise, 
and seeing opportunities where others see obstacles. This mindset doesn't ignore life's challenges. Rather, it chooses to approach them with hope, courage, and a belief in better outcomes. The beauty of positive thinking lies in its simplicity and its transformative power. It starts with small, everyday choices. Choose to greet the day with a smile. Choose to find something good in every situation. Choose to see the potential in others and help them see it in themselves. These choices, seemingly small and insignificant, are like pebbles thrown into a pond, creating ripples that extend far and wide. Embracing positive thinking also means being mindful of our words, both spoken and unspoken. Our words have the power to build or to destroy, to uplift or to dishearten. Speak words of encouragement, hope, and love. Speak to yourself with kindness and compassion. Remember, the conversation you have with yourself is just as important as the ones you have with others. Furthermore, positive thinking is about gratitude. In the hustle and bustle of life, it's easy to overlook the blessings we have. Take a moment each day to reflect on what you're grateful for. Gratitude turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, and confusion into clarity. But let's be clear. Embracing positive thinking is not a one-time event. It's a continuous journey. It requires effort, persistence, and most importantly, a willingness to change. It's a journey that will have its ups and downs, but with each step, you grow stronger, wiser, and more resilient.